Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a QuickTime movie from a file um, in Adobe Animate, right? So in order to do that, the first thing I need is a series of images which I already have uh, in this folder. Um, <clears throat> so this basically is a bouncing ball and I'm going to use only 12 images, right? So you can have a look at what I have here. It's pretty straightforward and very quick, very easy and very simple. Which is very important here is that you have a proper name for your images. And what I mean by that is that you save your images as a sequence, which means that they uh, go this way, like 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04, okay? Till 0, 012 or till 12. This is very important and you will see it in a minute. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, I'm going to close this one. The next step is to open Animate, which is already here. And I'm going to make an ActionScript 3 file. So I click there and then I have this. This white area here is my uh, canvas or my stage, which by default is 550 for 400 and I need to change it to 1024 to 768 which is which is the size of the images right so to do that I'm going to window right, uh, right here at the top <coughs> sorry and I click I look for properties properties uh, here I have this uh, tab and in this tab if you have a look this part here the size is 550 the width so I'm going to change this to 1024 and this one I'm going to change it to 768 right now uh, we have the frame rate which is 24 I keep it like that if you want if you consider the you need to change it then just click there and change it to 12 or 48 or whatever you want uh, I'm going to keep it at 24 right good so I can close this I'll leave it open for now um, you can do command or control minus and plus to zoom in and out okay if you want to navigate um, right so the next step is to import our images so I'm going to file uh, import then import to stage or command R right you can see here I click there and now you can see the images here. This this is what I said that it's important that you have this as a sequence because that's the way uh, Animate brings them on the uh, on the stage. Okay, so don't select everything. You don't need to do that. Okay, what you have to do is just highlight the very first file. Okay, and then hit open, and then a pop-up window will appear asking if you want to import the entire sequence, which you want. Uh, it says, this file appears to be part of a sequence of images. Do you want to import all of the images in the sequence? Then you hit yes. And we have all our images. Yeah. Okay. Luckily, they are center. They are all perfectly aligned in the center of my stage. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Okay, so if you need to move all of them around for whatever reason, uh, we need to uh, modify the, their position, okay? So I'm going to, to do that. Um, you can do it by uh, clicking here, edit multiple frames. You click there, and then you have these sort of brackets here. Just click and drag toward the left or right click on the first frame, shift and click, left click on the very last one. If you get this one, just click and go back again. Make sure all this is highlighted and all, all uh, this is uh, grayed out. And then you have your images here. You can see all the images, all the sequence there. Just click and drag and then you can move them around, okay? Um, why am I doing this? Because sometimes for some reason, 
um, when you import the file, they they appear like that. They, they're not properly centered. It ha actually happens quite often. So this is a very simple trick that helps you out to align everything at once. So what I have to do now is uh, go. I need to go to Window Align here, um, and I'm going to make sure this is aligned to a stage. This is selected, so I tick that box, and I align to uh, horizontal center and vert uh, vertical center. Okay, and then I have my images perfectly aligned. I'm going to close this probably. The properties are leave it open okay now I need to deselect this um, little button here the edit multiple frames so I deselect and if I press enter I have my movie running okay press enter if you press command enter then you have a shortwave file which is this one right this is not the QuickTime movie this is a, a shortwave file okay I'm going to close this and if you are happy with that, um, we can export the movie, okay, the video. Now you can you can adjust things here if you want, but because the idea of this is that you select that you have made everything on paper, uh, you, you don't need to to add anything at this stage, okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to file and I'm going to export and export. Uh, I go to video, and in video. The only thing that you should be aware here is to, to have the same size, which by default, when we change our size at the beginning, this should be okay. So just double check, that's quite important to double check. And then just browse where you want to save your image, your file, your QuickTime movie, sorry. So I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to call it test. And I hit save, make sure it's a QuickTime movie, which is the only format that it will accept and then hit save and hit export right now it's going to minimize this and double click on your movie and then you have your movie hit play and that's it that's pretty easy uh, pretty simple this is not rocket science uh, and it's actually fun but before I finish Remember to save your uh, animate files. So Command Shift S, uh, go to the desktop. I'm going to call it Test, and this is test.fla, which is a flash file. Okay. So if you need to edit or modify or add or remove frames or basically update it, just open this file and continue working. Okay. I'm going to save it. Uh, I'm going to minimize this, and then you have your test. Uh, animate file you have your QuickTime movie and then you have your images here okay if, if you have any question if you have any comment if you want to say anything please just write it down on the comment box in YouTube okay uh, thank you very much